Hi, everybody. It's me, Rita Repulsa here, in my big form. And I'll tell you how this came to be. Remember when I made a video in my small form and I was talking about my history? And I was saying about how if you wanted to find any version of me, you ever had to go on Amazon or eBay or Target. Well, apparently, I was at Walmart, right behind a bunch of big Alpha 5 action figures. So here I am. And I know people complain about my big form and they say it didn't have the staff and, you know, well, it was better than nothing. You see, this is the one that was even harder to find than a small one. And I know people already made videos with it. Lost Galaxy, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy 2014, for example. And some other people reviewed it. And why was it so hard for me to find my action figure? I mean, well, why was it? I don't know. So anyway, I was at Walmart, and apparently it's been proven that, you know, if you look hard enough, you'll find my action figure. Better late than never. That's what I say. And then let's talk about all the, pro all the things I'm involved in. First, I'm the general manager of the Toy Wrestling Federation. Number two, I'm a Satenu. And number three, yeah, a lot of people are going to ask me about my history with the Power Rangers and my history with Sailor Moon. And I pretty much covered all that in the first video. You see, originally I was a Satenu, okay? I originally worked with Zed and Goldar and, and Scorpina, along with Jedi, Nephlite, and Zoifite. We were Satenu, the Prince and Demian. Um... My mother was Queen Beryl. My father was Master Vile. It's true. My husband was Lord Zed. That's true. And Queen Beryl then joined the United Alliance of Evil, brainwashed all of us to attack, you know, you know, the Moon Kingdom to try to get the Imperial Silver Crystal, the Zeo Crystal, and uh, try to kill Zordon and Queen Serenity and the Sailor Soul, the Sailor, God, the Sailor Warriors and the Power Rangers, but that didn't quite work out. You see, Queen Beryl and Jadeite, Nephlite, Zoicite, and Quinfite, and all them got sent to the Negaverse, and Queen Serenity sent Zed, me, Goldarn, Scorpina, Squash, Bamboo, Fester, Rita, Ribalto, all of us into a stafe dumpster. Okay, then in 1993 AD, Queen Beryl sent me uh, had me go after the Power Rangers and fight the Power Rangers for at least close to one from 1993 up until 1996, of course. I failed in that, so then Queen Beryl sent my husband, Lord Zed, into it, and he tried for at least close to two years and didn't do very good. Then Ivan Ooze thought he had all the answers, and then he got killed. And then my father, Master Vile, showed up, and he thought he had everything under control, and he didn't. And then the Machine Empire showed up, King of Mondo, huh? He thought he had everything figured out, and he got defeated. And then Diva Talks came in the picture, then Astronema, then all the members of United Alliance of Evil were fighting all the members of United Alliance of Good. I get turned good, but a rage perfection, along with Zed, Goldar, and Scorpina. I become the Mystic Mother and the commander of the Power Rangers from at least 1998, 80, all the way up into at least 2007, 80, when I was when I was preceded by the Solistic Knight. Then I became a Power Ranger again, along with Zordon and you know Dulcia and Ninja and the Solistic Knight and you know and Grand K and Keeper and Queen Serenity. And then I turned on all of them because I wanted a Zeo Crystal again. So I get casted into the ocean. I get revived years later. I start making gold. Zordon recruits his new version of Power Rangers. They share the same names. No relation, of course. And I find myself bursting Jason, Billy, Zack, Trini, and Kimberly. At least that version of them. I bring Goldar back. We try to find the Zeo Crystal. I introduce the Krispy Kreme. Hell, I got, I get, I get some killing in, of course. People, you ever thought, ever thought, didn't think Power Rangers got killed in any episodes? Well, try the movie, of course. Try Siobhan's Power Rangers, because, yeah. 
And then uh, I get Goldar. They defeat Goldar. They cast me into space in their in their Megazord, and I and I do a lot of thinking. Okay. And then I also you're probably thinking to yourself. You mentioned Sailor Moon. Yeah, because in the in the fan fiction series Sailor Moon in a Talisman season two, Queen Beryl had me and Zed, Rita and Goldar and me and Zed and Goldar and Scorpina and Squash and Van Voo and Fester, Rita Rebalto and our Norton and our son Trax that I did not mention in the first video. Yeah, Trax thought he had everything under control because he allied himself with Moltor and, and Ferraris and with the other idiot and then ended defeating them. Okay. Now, a lot of people are going to ask me, well, Rita, uh, that was uh, basically, you, and then don't forget, then yeah, because then Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Venus, Sailor Earth, Tuxedo Mass, we all get turned good. Barrel, Zed, Gold, Barrel, Zed, Goldar, Scorpina, Rito, Trax, Norton, all of us. And then now I go back to being what I was. A Shaten Unite, you know, uh, the first Monty Morphin Green Ranger, according to the Siobhan's Power Rangers, of course. And a lot of people are making teases. A lot of people weren't sure if I was the original Green Ranger. I was, okay? This outfit is just a monetized, just modified or adapted from the Green Ranger suit they wore in the new movie. By the way, go check it out. Rent it from Netflix. Rent it from the Red Box. If you haven't already, if you bought it from Amazon or eBay or, or from uh, Walmart or Target or Kmart or whatever, I don't care what version you get. It's a good movie. And I think the fan, I think that some people have just been really hard on it with its criticism. You know, there's always going to be those who criticize things, things that people who find fault at stuff. So at the end of the day, I think there's a good movie. Okay, maybe it didn't bring a lot, it didn't do as good financially as Monty Morphin Pounders the movie or Turbo Power Rangers movie did, but I still thought it did good. So, yeah, and I like Krispy Kreme, okay? There you go. So, that's it. Me and my big form. Um, people are going to ask me questions. Wait a minute. I think the sun might be coming back. What are you still doing here, Renee Young? Oh, sorry, they forgot to, take, to put me away. Renee Young was still there. Someone forgot to put her away. Anyway, okay, where are they at here? Uh, Rita? Yes, Zed? Uh, when are you going to come back and when are you going to go into the foul cavernment? When I'm done making this video, Zed. Anyway, yeah, I'm still married or still wedlocked to Lord Zed. You know, a lot of people basically claimed that that was a bad move. People claimed that the reason I was brought back and married with him was to tone him down because he was way too evil for the show. You know, people were complaining. Yeah, imagine that. Apparently, I was okay compared to all the other foes on the Power Rangers. He's the one that needed to be toned down. Okay, I'm not going to argue with the whole Siobhan or Disney move, of course. I think regardless of whoever did it, it would have done it the same way. So that's about it for me. I'm Rita Repulsa, the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger, formerly Mighty Morphin Green Ranger, former Empress of Evil, former, you know, former Mystic Mother, former Commander of Power Rangers Command, uh, current General Manager of the Toy Wrestling Federation. So hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you later. And also current Chaten Unite.